Is it working now? I think. Is it working now? I think it is. I probably screwed everyone up who wanted to try to uh, view this tonight by creating a new YouTube event, but it says problems. API connection error, something, something, something. So might not have too many viewers tonight. Who knows? <laughs> uh, oh, well, I don't need viewers to learn Morse code. But yet again, I am not learning Morse code and, and bringing you some news uh, and updates for this whole remote testing, v, uh, VE, remote VE testing thing that I'm trying to promulgate throughout the world. So hi, Grant. So it is working. Um, good news, everyone. Wait, yes, it is. I'm going to assume it is. Um, so in the last couple of hours, really, today, uh, this whole kind of piecemeal everyone's trying to work on their own thing to get get a remote testing framework completed and, and distributed to the VECs out there for them to consume and use as they so desire um, all kind of coalesced on Twitter there's this guy Sam Hulick who um, he he's a verified Twitter user he has the check mark and he sent a tweet to Ajit Pai the Ajit Pai uh, who is the FCC chairman, and to Riyajiram, who's uh, our Hudson Division Director for the AWRL. And he says, please open up amateur radio exam licensing remotely. It's already open. We already discussed that. But as she Pai says, thanks for the suggestion. Let me look into this. Stay tuned. And I'm like, Oh man, this guy's got some clout. Because if one of us ever ever talked to Ajit Pai, it would just be like, you know, you're just another person. But Sam is a he's a developer, a composer, entrepreneur, cat dad. So he's been kind of um, running this base camp um, process of trying to get it put together. So there's there's some serious work being done. A um, lot of uh, uh, documentation, a lot of like just just discussion to make sure that everything's being done correctly. Um, and soon. As in, you know, in a couple of days, we're going to try to do like a mock um, exam with like bare minimum of, of stuff uh, to, to prove to the VECs and, and the general public, mostly to prove to VECs because they're, they're the responsible ones here, uh, that you can do remote testing with, with a bare minimum. You, you don't need anybody there. You just need an appropriate amount of surveillance. You need screen sharing. You need th you still always need three Vs and, and, and whatnot to, to actually um do uh uh TV testing remotely this i'm kind of backtracking that this is the response that we're going to do for for you know coronavirus like coronavirus is happening oh god we need to do testing now okay maybe not um because again this isn't going to destroy ham radio like ham radio is going to survive once coronavirus is over and at the same time there are uh ve's coming in uh or uh licensees getting tested so I just wrote this blog today and I talked to Brandon uh, Hess, who's the Anchorage VEC chairman, that there is a new license uh, um, issued for, I think this was the first one for throughout this whole epidemic, maybe not the first one, the first public one I've seen on Reddit. If you go here and you click anywhere, you can see the, the post. Um, but it was completely done on, through the Anchorage VEC, done remotely, but this person had to find a person a real life person to proctor the exam. Um, and if you go to KL7AA slash dot org slash remote, no, maybe not. Yeah, slash VEC slash remote testing. There is, you know, the requirements for a, uh, a proctor, a amateur extra license class holder, or a city village official, college university staff, emergency management personnel, judge, magistrate, uh, cop, or a state employee, somebody who is trusted in the community um, to be a proctor to say like, yep, the test area is clear, the person's calculator is cleared and not able to store memory, there's nothing in the, and there's no cheating going on. And, and to basically confirm 100% without a shadow of a doubt that uh, the test session is, is valid. That is a little bit too much. I mean, I, well, maybe not. I think that is a good approach, but 
you can still do testing and you can still do this like 100% surveillance with, with the right you know number of cameras, a mirror in the background, or a smartphone looking down at the test session, screen sharing, something looking at the tester's face, getting a, a surveillance of, like it can't be like my desk here. Like if it was this, it'd be too cluttered. You can't really see what's going on. But if I was down on my like dining room table where there's like, it's very clean and nothing's on it and there's no you know, like whiteboards or documentation anywhere nearby for me to look at then then that could be a thing it'll 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 put a lot of onus on the on the testee the the candidate to you know make sure that their their um, session is is a okay but um hopefully we can get something together for the vecs and they'll like it and they'll start doing remote testing which will be cool but probably not for coronavirus. We could get some VECs to do this in time, you know, in time for the end of coronavirus before it ends, before it ends. I don't even know if it's going to end. Who knows? Um, but I think this is like a step forward in the right direction. Much to the chagrin of a lot of uh, a lot of old men, a lot of their lawns are being trampled on right now. It's kind of funny. Okay. So um, another funny thing, I emailed a link to the... Um, uh, Trump's one of Donald Trump's addresses addresses uh, to the press, where uh, the uh, Dr. Uh, Deborah Burks Bricks Burks. Let me let me find the email. Um, Burks B I R X. Uh, she blinks a lot in one of them. So I don't know. This is kind of a sketchy. Thing, but like in order to get rid of this invisible enemy i'm just gonna mute it but like look at her blinking like crazy and people on reddit flock to reddit oh god it's a conspiracy she's blinking in morse code but i watched like i watched like 10 minutes of this and and i kind of like jotted down a bunch of m's and a bunch of t's and that was an m now that's just a constant like dot 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 oh that was an s T, 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 E, 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 maybe an M. Oh, that was a da-da, so that's an A. <laughs> like, it's not Morse code. <laughs> but, but this has happened before, and I think this is where people get it, uh, get this idea that she's sending Morse code, and, and maybe maybe it's because everyone knows Trump is lying and she's trying to tell the truth in Morse code, but I, I don't believe that for, for a second. The Occam's razor with that is just too strong. Um, but... This has happened. A prisoner of war blinks torture. T. O. Da da da. R. Da da da. T. Da da da. U. R. Da da da. E. Torture. And that's that's really like he's he's definitely sending torture with his with his blinking, because he's a prisoner of war in um, the Vietnam War being asked like how are they treating you oh everything is great and and he's saying in his in his eyes they're torturing him so it has happened before and it might happen again but i don't think deborah burks was sending morse code um in fact this might be when she was tested and having a fever she probably has dry eyes i don't i don't know i i just avoid all of this you know the actual political response at all costs because this is ham radio after all um what are you doing? What am I doing? Well, I'm just sitting here mumbling on about ham radio and Morse code. Um, speaking of which, why don't we actually do Morse code? I did do some extra work, like extra work. I did do some some sessions today behind y'all's back. I need some water. Oh, water to try to get up. Uh, my code speed on um, on my phone, and I was trying to use this other this new app. Um, and you see, there's like so much work going on. I have all these unread notifications from uh, from Basecamp, and I'm not trying to keep this a secret process. This is obviously you know something everyone wants to be a part of in Ham Radio. But where's the app? Where's the app? Morse Machine. So this app called Morse Machine. Blah, blah, blah. I can't. It's kind of hard to say. Let me go full screen here. It allows you to, it's basically learn CW online, but it's a sort of a game. Let me go 20, 731. 
So we hit stop. Turn up the volume. Maybe you can hear it. So like you start out with K&M and it, you hit play. So this might be something that that is interesting to you people who don't want to sit there sit around the computer but I did find a bug I went up to 25 words per minute and I cranked it to less than 39 and let's stop and and I was going through it and I'll kind of put it up here gotta find the letter it's Y There's, that was definitely X, but it, I clicked it, but there's a lag in the processing, so there's a bug in the code. H. Slash. Right there, you hear that, like, it, 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 it had two signals kind of overlapping each other. Da, 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 da. Come on, I know that. Z. Like that. If you don't get it soon enough, it'll it'll retry, and I think you can change that. It'll wait a little longer before it sends it again. Yee. Yikes. There's also not really any feedback that you got it right, other than it adds a new character, or the feedback you got it wrong, which is the... Now, there's also Morse Toad, which is not installed. Let me install it. Oh, come on. iPhone has this problem of deleting apps because it's like not cool like that so there's this you can see my reflection <coughs> touching my face with my clean hands I'm gonna burp tap to begin and I think I've gone through all of these I don't know so it's actually a game and like there's this little like frog that follows you along you're getting pretty good at it at it at this point Keep going. That was an H. And that's like, like, got it. I'm going to pick the wrong one. Very sad. What I don't like it is that it has the, uh, the, 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 the dashes and dits under the letters. And I think you might be able to remove those. I want to say, I mean, there's not many settings you can really do in here. Like, as you see, there's not like a, a hamburger button. Challenge Omega. So for the challenges, it gets rid of those dis dot, dot dashes. It shows you up here, you've got X number left. So I think these uh, these two apps are really good for training, for learning Morse code from the beginning. More Morse code, not as much Morse machine. But if you're doing um, code practice, like, like, get out of here. Like I am, I think one of my favorite apps for that is like, well, I don't know, it's kind of up in the air. Hand Morse is all right. It will let you send, let's see some words but it only sends the words you can't type in and get a get a correct uh um 
You know, it, it doesn't doesn't do any automatic thing. This is something where you hit play, put it face down, you listen to it, and you you write down or type like what it's saying, and then well, it'd be silly to type it on somewhere else. Or maybe maybe you can start. Well, you can't start and tab away because it doesn't continue. And there's also Morse coach, which is a coke method, but it hasn't been updated in a long time. It doesn't do real good uh, training. Morse key. It's just a Morse keyer. <clears throat> Morse Elmer. Like a lot of these have been like deprecated. Like a lot of them are off the app store anymore. So there, there really isn't anything good on here. But on Android, there's Izid uh, something, the Italian guy. <laughs> Izu, uh, Iz two U U F or something. Iz two U U F. Iz two U U F. Morse code CW. This is this is the hands down the best uh, mobile app for uh, learning Morse code. And there's also a Morse machine, um, for for that matter as well. Also, well, I don't know if it's free, but I I have an Android tablet, but I don't have uh, um, I don't have that with me. It's probably also not charged. I'm an Apple boy. But this is my favorite. If you're at a computer, this is this is hands down the best one to use. If you're not using like a class or something, or in a class like like that or whatnot. So I said I tried to do a little more more sessions, but I didn't really get much better. So my stress levels were really really low for that, just because it's the first session of the well the couple, last couple of hours, I guess. But I still haven't done much better. I'm doing better at forgetting about what I didn't hear. Um, honestly, I think I should lower this error rate down to like twenty percent or fifteen percent instead of ten, uh, just because it's it's going to take forever at this speed. At least I think. Yeah. Fuck a skip. Fuck. Still about the same error rate, so I'm not getting better. What if I had a competition? <laughs> that came out wrong. A competition. And I know no one's here to bounce ideas off of except for two people who probably won't comment, but like, in order to like increase this channel's capabilities and, and 
viewer, not just viewership, but just, just engagement. I need some friends who know Morse code about my level who I can compete with. Because in Le Learn CW Online uh, and, in, and in user groups, there is a, there's a way to actually see other people like high scores. Like there are high scores, but like you can't really compete with the high scores on this because well, it doesn't load for one matter, for one thing, but like Ooh, really high. Ooh. Excuse me. Like, eight, this is bullshit. <laughs> 815 words per minute. Who are you? Like, no, you didn't. No, you did not. This is just silly. 600 words per minute? No, you did not. Five, like, this This is cheating. <laughs> Roblox got 120. Of course he did. Like, there, there is no one who can do this. Like, it's just not humanly possible. Uh, it is machine possible, and it's also like 815. You can't even make this. You can't even set that. Like, what is this going to sound like? <laughs> oh, wait, what? Let me hear that. Did you pick that up? Are you getting this? Yeah, I didn't think so. That actually sounds a lot like, uh, I can't believe you can set it that high, that's nuts. But that is what is used in high-speed CW. Um, but machine, machine, high-speed CW. High-speed CW um, software. I don't think there is a CW decoder that will decode that fast. But when you do meteor scatter, um, which is bouncing your signal off of a meteor, a lot of operators in the in the past can or have used high speed CW in, in rates of like exceeding 60, 100 words per minute, but using programs to do it because no one can hand key that fast. Um, maybe one person can hand key that fast, but it's definitely not this guy. Uh, this guy, no. Did I want to set this back down to normal. <laughs> 25 by 6. Whoever that guy was. But yeah, there's like high scores. So like, I need competition. And and him rated contesting is naturally competition, but it's not, I'm still not in that like, that tier. That's like the top tier, you know. It, it, I don't know anybody who gets into ham radio contesting at my level who can't put together words and, and letters like 100%, but, you know, I know all the all the characters, but, like, see, even this guy's name is Trollface. <laughs> but, I don't know. 1,600? Like, this guy is actually the person who created this whole program, so I'm not surprised he's up there. But at 111 words per minute, that is just mind blowing. 124 words per minute. Wow. Wow. So, but if any of you out there are, or somewhat uh, at my level, may I challenge you to a duel? I don't really know how to to do a duel in morse code but that would be fun because watching me do code groups is pretty boring and i talked to josh nash and hosh nash and he's like yeah i like it when you come in and do your little new show and sometimes you say some funny stuff but watching me do this is like watching paint dry
Uh, eights and sevens. So, yeah. Very boring. That's why I have only three viewers. <laughs> I have 15, 1,600 subscribers. And uh, three people are watching the stream. One person is watching the YouTube stream. But, say la vie. Oh, God, I don't want to know. This is sad. Homemade everything guy. I think he got cancer. Well, I'll watch that later. Welcome to my YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's probably all the CW I'm going to do today. Because I did some earlier, and I just wanted to get some news out there. I wanted to say, if you're interested in helping out um, where, uh, with, uh, with the remote exam kind of thing we have a base camp and if you send me an email address i can add you to it if you want to follow along otherwise just stay tuned to my twitter and nzrsc.com if you really want to follow along i have been blogging about this pretty frequently so um yeah it's also a lot of a lot of news on reddit on this so i don't think it's really it's really not going to be our stopgap i think the stopgap measure for covid19 is is anchorage who are actually issuing licenses and testing and and they have gotten their their rates up to about five to ten uh, per day up to 20 if everyone's operating a full tilt but um you do need to have like an actual person standing over your shoulder in person to to do test for the uh, to get tested by anchorage v vec or any ve team from by the anchorage vc so keep that in mind if you want to Go to kl7alpha alpha kl7aa.org slash vec slash remote testing. You can apply there. There's a little Google Doc form that you can, uh, um, you know, sign up for that. There's still quite a backlog, obviously. So um, don't expect to get tested soon. It might be up to 60 days, maybe even more, maybe less if they if they get more uh, VEs uh, up to speed. But right now he's got a cadre. He, he said himself of uh, trusted people who are trained with the process and, and um, he is not opening any other uh, application for remote testing or not not remote testing for, for being a VE that does remote testing. So shut those down because, well, he, he had, he has people he can work with, I, I guess. So, all right. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, for now, 73 and I'll catch you again next time I stream on uh, CW. Starting to lose interest. I can feel it, but April is around the corner, and that's when my 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 uh, CW Academy things start. And it's not really that I'm losing interest; it's that this 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 epidemic has really like opened me up to um or closed me down, I guess, if you you could say, to uh, doing CW in lieu of other things. So it's it's called life. It's just what happens when life is a thing. <laughs> All right. I am going to make some more videos, though, coming up this weekend. I'm going to make a video that showcases a, an example VE session, and then I also want to put a, as long as it stops raining and I get some time off work or time, I'm, I'm trying, like, we're hoping that the, the work will be shut down, but it doesn't seem hopeful right now. Um, <laughs> I, I really shouldn't be hopeful of that, but, um, a part of me wishes, but, you know, I'm thankful to be gainfully employed at this time of the economy's panic, um, or the, of, of the economy and whatnot. So as long as we got still, still got that going for us, but that does mean I'm kind of at home during the weekends, not doing anything, which is kind of nice, except for, I'm thinking about camping a couple weekends from now for Missouri Cuso party. Um, but I want to get on my roof. I have like some mounting brackets for an antenna uh, post, and then I have a bunch of wire I can use to put a put a put a wire in my trees. Because the honestly, the remote ham radios just aren't cutting it. Like I really want my seventy three hundred. I really want my band scope, and I really want to have like a, a tactile feedback with um, with the Morse code. It does use. Remote, uh, remote ham radio does let you use wind keyer. The lag is in the little no is a little annoying, and a lot of the, res the transceivers do not support CW just because they're afraid if it gets hung up in CW mode, it's going to catch their house on fire. So, here. Yeah. Any questions? No, no comments on on YouTube. All right, 73, everyone. Thanks for hanging out.
and I'll catch you next time from InZero SSC. Tit tit.